let's bring you this story. There's a new vaccine mandate in place at the Canadian border, which is preventing truckers from entering into our country. And now a convoy of truckers are protesting these new mandates by marching from Vancouver, Washington, to Ottawa in retaliation. Yeah, our correspondent, Michael Charbon, uh, joins us now from Toronto uh, to give us the latest update. Hi, Michael, what's the latest? Hi, Heather. Well, it's called the Freedom Rally. And these truckers, about 250 of them, are traveling 2,700 miles from British Columbia and from the West Coast to Ottawa to protest these Canadian mandates, which means that if you're an American trucker and you're not vaccinated, you can't get into the country. Uh, and if you are fully vaccinated, you still have to produce a PCR test 72 hours before entry. If you're a Canadian trucker and you're not fully vaccinated, uh, you have to still produce a 72-hour PCR test, but then you could be put into quarantine for between five and 14 days. So big riggers from America who aren't vaccinated are not welcome in Canada. Uh, the problem is here that the truckers are saying that it's totalitarianism. It's unrealistic because cross-border truckers, uh, basically they pick up their load, they deliver it, someone else unloads it, they reload them and they head all the way back. So uh, generally they go destination to destination and there's not very much interaction. Now, the cost of this is probably about $2,500 per trucker, and they put together a GoFundMe page estimated at $3.5 million, uh, but that's been put on a hold because they want to be able to mandate the expenses. Approximately 30,000 Canadian truckers cross the border each day to deliver goods and services. And between our two countries, it's about $650 billion a year, of which 70% is brought in by truck. In 2021, in November alone, there was about $55.4 billion worth of commerce between the two of us. So trucking is very, very important. The number one uh, product that's uh, transported by truck between our two countries is cars. Number two uh, is vehicle parts. And number three is delivery trucks, if you can think of that. But more importantly right now, in Canada, because it's cold, as you well know, we don't have fresh produce. So all the produce is coming from you guys in the States and uh, points south. So it's really affected us uh, negatively. It's estimated that there's about 160,000 truckers in Canada, of which 90% of them are vaccinated. Now, this applies more to you, Rob, than it does to Miss Childress. I don't know if you remember this from 1975 from the song Convoy. It's a, a Breaker oh, yeah. 1 9. This is Rubber Duck. So that really talks about the concrete cowboys that supply our places both ways. And uh, they're yeah. on a bit of a hitch. Yes. Uh, yeah. And that's a long way, by the way, Vancouver to Ottawa. That, like you're saying, 2,700 miles, something like that. That's quite a ways. Michael, thank about you so 54 much. 54 hours. My goodness. Wow. Okay. Thank you very much.